This is part two of my proportional program lesson where I'll show you how to make your robot run in a straight line following any gyro setting. In part one, the robot had to follow a gyro setting of zero, but after this lesson, you'll be able to have your robot follow a straight line on any angle your robot can measure. As you can see, I already have the gyro straight program set up from lesson one, where the robot followed a yaw heading of zero. If you've not watched that video, you may want to go check it out and then come back to this one. Upgrading this program so that it can follow any yaw heading will only take a couple of steps. To save time, I have already set up two five second loops. One for when the left button is pressed, and one for when the right button is pressed. So now I'll start by creating programs where the robot will follow different yaw headings. The first change I'll need to make is I will need to add a brand new variable. So I'm going to go down to my variables tab, click make a variable, and this one I will call target yaw. This will allow me to set and change the yaw angle I want the robot to follow. You may recall that in the first lesson, the correction was zero minus the yaw angle, and I told you that that zero represented the zero degree heading of the robot. And so now, since I want the robot to follow different angles, I just need to replace that zero with a target yaw button. So now, if I want the robot to follow a heading of 45 degrees, I set the target yaw to 45, and the correction will now be based on 45 minus the yaw angle instead of zero minus the yaw angle. And as I change the yaw angle, the correction equation will change to match it. The next change I need to make is under the reset program. Since I am now changing my yaw angle as needed, I can't keep resetting it to zero. So I need to remove the set yaw angle to zero from the reset program. However, when the robot is set and ready to move, I should reset the yaw at that time. So I'm going to place a set yaw angle command in each program right at the beginning. And then I'm going to go to the my blocks and place a reset right underneath it to reset my timer and then give the robot that half second wait to set up. Next, I need to place the go straight program that we have now updated to follow any angle into the loop. And so now the only thing I am missing is telling the robot what target angle to follow. And to do that, all I need to do is go back down to my variables and place a set command into each program. And then I will choose target yaw and I will tell the robot what target yaw I want it to follow. So for this one, Let's have it set to a 45 degree angle. And then on this one, let's set the target yaw to 90. And now I'm going to download these programs to the robot on program five so that we can take it to the table and see how it works. Finally, let's look at this program that I've set up where the robot is going to run straight for five seconds, set on a target yaw of zero, make a 90 degree turn, and now rather than resetting the target yaw to zero and resetting the robot, I'm just going to set my new target yaw to 90, and now the robot will run in a straight line heading off at a 90 degree angle from its original orientation. The real advantage to this program is that if the robot over rotates or under rotates on its turn, it will correct to 90 degrees when it starts moving forward. This is an even more accurate way to guide your robot around the field. Now that you have a basic understanding of using a proportional program to guide your robot around the field using the gyro sensor, in lesson three you'll learn how to upgrade this program once again 
to have the robot use the color sensor to follow lines more accurately and smoothly.